Hello, everyone, and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you enjoy commentary that's straight to the point, join our family. I'd love to have you. I haven't gone over the situation with veteran talk show host and former radio personality Wendy Williams because, quite frankly, it's sad. She had been radio silent for quite some time, but today she made a post on Instagram where she, quite frankly, seemed distraught, in my opinion. Take a listen. My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money. This is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is, this is not fair. And Lori Schiller and Wells Fargo have this guardianship petition about keeping me away from my money. This is not right. And you know this is not fair. And this guy named Bernie Young, I know for a fact that Bernie Young used my American Express card to hire an attorney to file a petition against me. That was done with my American Express card. Bernie Young, you're no good, and this is not fair at all, you know? And then there's this person, um, this, uh, oh gosh, this, uh, a former, a former doctor, a former doctor, okay, had medical information about me that I never even got. It was sent over to Lori Schiller. So I haven't gotten the stuff. I fired the, the doctor. And again, all I wanna know is where is my money? This Wells Fargo has used all this stuff to create the guardianship over me. This is not right. And certainly this is not fair. The New York court system is, they, you know, uh, without evidence, they're being weird to me, this court system. Without evidence, uh, they took all this information and continued with what's going on with me based on what Wells Fargo is doing. This is not fair, this is not fair. Lori Schiller, Bernie Young, and Wells Fargo. Please let me have access to my money. This is not right. And again, this is not fair. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Of course, seeing that the money has now dried up, or is close to drying up, we have the disgraced ex-husband of hers who decided to share, if you will, pertaining to the current situation and how his actions have affected his current state. Not Wendy's, but his. Take a brief listen. But again, I take full accountability and I stand on the principle of knowing that I did hurt somebody and for that, I wish in her nothing but the best wellness and support and you know, my deepest. With that being said. He's currently engaged in a $10 million lawsuit of wrongful termination. I remember earlier on last year when Wendy Williams had a medical episode and it was Kevin Hunter's birthday and he posted this message where he bragged about better to have health than wealth, literally kicking this woman whom he has a child with and spent most of his adult life with when she was and still is down. I guess things have changed financially for him and now 
He's her biggest supporter. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this whole debacle. As for Wendy Williams, I know everyone has an opinion about what they want to call karma. But let's extend the grace that we do to a lot of these men who fall from said grace to a woman who, in her heart, thought that she was doing what she was called to do in the name of giving us information that we would have never otherwise been privy to for what we all love, and that is entertainment. If you haven't already, remember to like the videos as it helps to support our channel. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell and please watch when notified. I'd really appreciate it. And lastly, stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.